Well, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this segment. Hopefully I can save, because I didn't save. I was listening to Swaggins. And if I get fucked over, there's going to be hell to pay. That's all I have to say. So he better really be happy. There better be a fucking save point. Or there better be infinite retries here. Oh no, it's him. Okay. Ink ribbon. And a chain. Here it is. Typewriter. Blank's diary. If you're reading this, go call police. Boogeyman here. Eating everybody. Many bark boogeyman's here. Help. They're coming. Help me, mommy. All right. Well, Swaggins was right. Props to Swaggins. He was absolutely correct. There were a lot of people in the stream chat saying there weren't. All right. Ugh, hair in my mouth. This is a great segment. Where you going, Sherry? I told you to stay put. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. Uh. Ah! Oh. You little bitch. You're going to pay for this. Oh, you little shit. You hear? Great. I don't know where to hide. I just infinitely walk in circles here, like Mr. X, maybe. Until he gives up. He's locking the door. It's all over now. Doors locked. <clears throat> where are you? Show yourself. I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be! <clears throat> Alright, so that's a new path. He's opened a new path. to do here. I thought maybe this was the way out, but I don't see anything. I might be I fucked see now. Bitch. I see you. Yeah. Game well, over, I didn't know. I thought that was a new path. I was like, oh, this is the way out. I go over there. It's a dead end. It was a trick. A dirty, rotten trick. A dirty, rotten trick. So 
so I don't know where to go. I have no clue. You are gonna wish you were dead. The game started me facing him after the cutscene. The game started me facing the guy chasing me after the cutscene. How nice. Totally fair. <laughs> oh my goodness. At least I saved. So basically he's doing taxidermy on humans. That's exactly what he's doing. He liked doing taxidermy me on, on animals, now he does it on humans. You are gonna be so fucking sorry! Go away! Alright, try again. Help! Somebody please! You stupid bitch, that's a dead end! I guess I gotta go to the right when he opens it up, not to the left. To the left is the fridge, and to the right is where I need to go. Okay. By the way, this was all in the original it's Resident Evil 2. Now. Doors yeah, locked. right. Where are you? Show yourself! I know you're in here! The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be! Alright. I don't want to do this anymore. We all know how much I love stealth. I fucking seriously don't want to do this anymore. This has nothing to do with the rest of the game. It's a waste of fucking time. It's annoying as shit. I just want to fucking play the game. I don't want to waste my time with garbage that they wedge in to claim this new content. weapons and she can't attack so how the fuck would I get that I have no idea how the heck would I break the raccoon it's all over now doors locked where are you Show yourself! Uh, I know you're in here! Uh, fucking the boy. longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be! Thank you, Mikey, for the cheer. However, I'm not going to read that joke you just said. Uh, bitch has got to be here somewhere. Oh, oh. 
God damn it! I see you. D dude, where do you go? There's nowhere to go. Look. The door doesn't open. I have no idea what to do. I'm about to fucking turn it off. I am. I'm about to turn it off. It's just fucking stupid. It's a waste of my time. I'm just gonna look it up. I'm just gonna look it up online so I can just do it and get it over with because it's a fucking waste of everyone's time. The door does, in front of her doesn't open and there's nowhere else to go. So fucking boring. Just let me play the real game. Like, the real game's not hard enough, let's add in a really annoying piece of shit segment that has nothing to do with anything else. This sucks. <sighs> Terrible. Uh, you are gonna be so fucking sorry! <laughs> Uh. The funniest part about it is this is the only real original part of the game. Everything else was redesigned from 1998. The one original part of the game that they made themselves sucks. It's really shitty. It's gonna be. your last fucking chance show yourself now oh fuck it burns I see you. Uh, I'm stuck. I can't move. It's locked on the outside. Now you're in trouble. Uh, uh, let me go! 
Oh! Hello! Impregnated him! Well, that was exciting. And totally worth it. I just don't understand modern game development. I don't. Thirty minutes earlier. Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. What are you talking about? Don't waste my fucking time. Bring me the pendant, or Sherry dies. Pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Thank you to Silent General so for a 19 month resub. Appreciate that. Damn it. Just you wait, asshole. Hide and seek. I got a shitty trophy for a shitty segment. Full of shit. So, should I save here or not? I don't know if there's going to be an opportunity to save after I open the garage or not. And that's what makes me nervous. I certainly don't want to have to redo that, like, redo that again. Eh. I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh wait, I fucked up. I have the green herb. That's what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Doof. Miss me, bitch. Gun shop when you need it. Shit. Looks like it's the other way. Alley Blues. 
In the original Resident Evil, you originally go to these back alleys first before you even get inside of any areas. So, it's kind of interesting that now you're going to them. Items. SMG ammo, even though I don't have the SMG with me. Now look where I'm going. Out to the street with more dogs. It's a dead end. Oh. Have a grenade, bitch. That's got to be the orphanage. That's how it's done, motherfucker. That's how it's done! Ha ha! No damage, baby! Hang on, Sherry. King Gogus is one of the breakable raccoons was on the bus. Fuck that shit, then. Who cares? You think I was gonna go back there to get it? There was no way I was gonna know that unless it, I had already known that ahead of time. So that means there's no way to actually get all the breakable raccoons unless you know where they are, which is horseshit. You can't just look for them because they cheated and put one on the bus during the segment you needed the rerunning. So, fuck you, Capcom. Alright. Anyway, no damage run. Completely flawless. And I got a ton of items. So, good shit. Big Bench just did a 50-bit cheer. Thank you, Big Bench, for the cheer. Thank you everyone who is contributing today because it's been very slow today compared to the other Resident Evil streams. So, I am appreciating those who are actually contributing still on day four. I'll be honest, I knew four days in a row people were going to start to lose interest in this. I just knew it. So, it's just natural. Playing for the same game four straight days, people are going to get burnt out. I don't know where to go. I could save, I guess. I guess I was probably... Oh, I can't save. I don't have a... Uh... I don't have any ribbon on me, and I don't, there's no item box in here. I have the pendant. Oh boy! Your fault. What? It took too long. What happened? Uh, oh god! Get, get off me! Oh my god! <gasps> Yummy. Jesus Christ! There's a ladder. Well, since there's no reason for me to shoot any more raccoons since I missed one on the bus, I guess I'll just stop shooting them. Yeah, it's his taxidermy thing. He was doing it on humans. Sick fuck. I thought there's any reason to go upstairs. I thought there's any items there, right? I wonder if there's a save room down there. I kind of want to check upstairs before I go down.
Sherry? Sherry, are you here? Okay. Thank you, Goldry Bloodsco, for a 1,000 bit cheer. That actually makes you the top cheer. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. Spell that Bluz. No, Bluz Co. Like that. Yes. Okay. Good. Continue. Mr. Provovera says, Now the zombies did a little taxidermy on him. <laughs> Indeed, they did. What kind of shower is this? Letter from the director. Regarding the incident in question, I'm glad to report all has been taken care of. On February 19th, test subject 629 escaped from the lab and broke into our facility. 628 was originally from this facility's candidate pool and apparently re returned in hope of seeing help. 628 was quickly detained by our staff. As 628 was undergoing one of the lab's clinical trials, there was a distinct possibility he had brought the virus with him. So we disposed of all of our test subject candidates as a precaution. Their speedy disposal was concluded by the security team, with whom I'd like to extend my thanks. So they killed all the kids. As for our neighbors, we told them that due to the building's dilapidated state, we had temporarily moved all the children to a different orphanage for their safety. As to the future of the facility, once it has been fully decontaminated, I plan to resume, uh, you know, researching more candidates. Damn, that's fucked up. So they killed all the kids. All right. Well, I was glad I came in here. Good items. All right, it was first aid spray, and there was uh, some ammo. She came in from the window, so you can't go back that way. Okay. We gotta go down the ladder. A baby's battle. That really sucks. They seriously should have not put one of the fucking raccoons on the bus. How in the fucking hell was I going to know that it was there? And during a scene where you're supposed to be running full speed to get away from enemies, you're supposed to know to stop and look? That's horseshit. That sucks. Though it's nothing new for Capcom, for those who don't know, in games like Resident Evil 5 and 6, they also hid a ton of those kind of items around moving segments where it was like, you're on rails, you can't even go, you know, go slow, and you have to hit them like the first chance you get. Or else you can't get all the collectibles, so it's kind of annoying. It's a pattern with these games. I think she's dead. Alright, now we can see what's down the ladder. Yeah, the BSAA emblems, that's right, Baj uh, Bajir Bajri 2. It was fucking super annoying and unfair. Like, There's no way you could get them all in the first run. You basically had to look them all up. I know exactly Sherry, where they were and aim and, and try to hit you? them. It was so annoying. Claire! Sherry! I'll be right there! It's like the basement from Resident Evil 7. I think we should go. Fucking Mr. X. She's slow as shit. I can't run. It's behind you. Don't stop. Stupid Mr. X. Hurry. Keep going. Sherry, come on. Mr. X. Open up for Mr. X. Look at wrinkle face. Hello, I'd like a hug. Oh. Her father is defending her. Oh, shit. Whoa. So now Mr. X is dead? That's completely different from Leon's plotline. It doesn't even make sense. 
Because Leon fights him. How did that make any sense? Can you hear me? Claire? Claire, you have to get up. He's going to get us. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Wake up. The fuck's going on now? Open your eyes. Hold still. The mother's here now, and Birkin. Not infected. Huh. Sherry. Yeah, Leon Kennedy just did a Twitter bit. Sherry said, "Well, X won't be giving it to you anymore." Where's Sherry, Sherry. X can't be giving it to you. He's Sherry's got no fine. guts to give it to you. <laughs> Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who is, who is that? The creature responsible for this. What? Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. Sure. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. You know, it'd be really nice to save the game now. Where did Sherry go? That'd be really swell and dandy. Oh wow! Look, more ammo hidden in the dark. Boy, I gotta look everywhere for items in this game. It'd be really swell and dandy to save my game after like an hour of not saving. Sherry's her daughter? Oh. There's an item box. Oh, there's a typewriter. Report about G. The G virus clinical trial will be entering its final phase very soon. Before G, the new creature that will surpass humans is born, allow me to predict a few things about its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately with their linguistic abilities disappearing within a matter of days. Finally, they'll lose their capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct driven only by need to survive and reproduce. Uh, excuse me. Physical abilities. Anyway. To... Uh, Due to its unusually accelerated cell division evolution, it will be highly adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional small firepower. Reproductive behavior. G's most remarkable feature will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will in instinctively search out humans with DNA that closest matches its own and implant an embryo in them. But the chances of success are very low, and if the DNA is not close enough for the match, an underdeveloped G creature will be produced instead. I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough of a match would be any biological children of the subject. There you go. High-powered rounds for the SLS-60. Does that turn the SLS into the Magnum that people have been talking about? Because someone mentioned that the SLS becomes like a Magnum later. Well, I got some ink ribbons, so I have surplus ink ribbons now. Well. Okay. High power rounds for the SLS 60. Now with more gun power. Goodness. The punch these deliver requires a stronger gun frame to fire. So I need to inc uh, improve the gun in order to use it. I can't use it yet because the gun is the standard SLS, right? Yeah. So I'll store it for now. Store all this stuff for now. I mean, I guess I could combine some gunpowder and make some, some rounds. 9mm rounds. Hmm. <sighs> I, I don't know how much he's going to make. I don't want to waste it.
All right, I did it. I'll have 10 extra bullets. All right, I gotta save now. So I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna see, before I go this way, which is obviously the way they want you to go, I'm gonna go back and down that other way. There was a way it looked like you could hop down and see what's over there, but I'm gonna save first. That was seriously like an hour. <laughs> it was over 40 minutes. I was right. Over 40 minutes without saving. So, whew. I have two healing items on me. Do I want to? Fuck. So what was over here? No. Sherry, can you hear me? Was I supposed to come here? Oh. Well, shit. Now I fucked up because there might have been something upstairs through that door and I didn't check. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh. It was locked, you son of a bitch. It was fucking locked. So I was supposed to go this way all along. All right. Sherry, can Just so you everyone on the stream knows, I'm only playing for roughly another 15 minutes or so today. So we can't get to a logical stopping point. You know, I don't know if I'm going to keep going. We'll see. I know where I am. Yup, we're in the sewers. And this is the part where you jump down originally. If I had the crank, I could open the door, but I don't have the crank. So I got to go the other way. Hopefully they don't have the, the no, fucking weird so mutated poison shit. dudes. <clears throat> yep, I need the crank. I have to come back here. So hopefully those guys are not here. Surprisingly enough, they're not, at least yet. That was where you meet the first one as, as Leon. <clears throat> Chill out, Mr. Propaverus is just more evidence that all games have a sewer level. Every major game with zombies or survival horror has a sewer level of some sort. Every single one. It's been proven time and time again. All right, now we're going up to the lift. Cable car. Yeah. Here. All right. There will be a second stream plus that, but what I'm saying is. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. That was fucking annoying. Ugh. Waste of a first aid. What is this? This is the main control room. I told you I cannot leave huh? here until my work is done. That's what you always say. Sherry? Why didn't you stay in the house? It was safe there. Hey, Sherry! Uh, I was scared. Those things were everywhere, and... You should have called the police. That's what we taught you. Uh, I did, but nobody came, and you didn't answer your phone, so... Sherry, uh, I 
don't have time for this. Wow, what a great parent. What a great parent. Oh no. Sherry! Sherry, I'm coming! So now basically she has to do the same shit that Chris did, Chris, that Leon did. So you know what? I suck because I wasted a save. I did. Yeah. I mean, they're giving me even more ink ribbons, but technically I wasted a save saving in that room back there. I think I'll be alright with ink ribbons, though. It seems like they're, they're being more generous with them now. A lot more generous. This is where I just came from. Well, I have to do the exact same puzzle. The sewer company pamphlet. It looks like I will have to do the same puzzle. Yup. Certain puzzle pieces are here. Here we go again. So I have to find three plugs. Three are missing. <clears throat> Alright. I guess we'll save again. It totally sucks I lost first aid for no fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. And this time I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my uh my first aid. I gotta pass that zombie. I'm gonna pass that fucking zombie is what I'm gonna do. And not get bit. Not get fucking bit this time. I'll, I'll gladly replay f you know, less than five Harry? minutes of gameplay if it means me? I get to keep a healing item. Fuck that. That shit was bullshit. Now, I'm gonna smell like shit. Who cares what you smell like? It's the apocalypse. Everyone's dying around you. <laughs> it's the apocalypse. Everyone's dying and mutating into monsters. She cares that her perfume wore out. Roar off. Yes. Very important. Table car. Here? People are saying explore the room. What room? The one with the zombies in it or the room that I was just in? Because this is the room with the zombies in it. Mikey GTR cheers. I gotta go, buddy. Shout out to my fellow brothers in blue. Thank you, Mikey. And come back tonight for more if you want. My late stream is around 6 45, 7 p.m. Pacific time. <sighs> That's it, flame rounds. I'm out of here. Flame rounds. Oh, wait. What the fuck is this? What the fucking shit ass balls cock. Cock a doodle bum fuck is this nonsense? I'm supposed to have a combination? Oh, fucking bullshit. Table. It's not 
de... The note is not the combination. SZF? I mean, I could stay here and do the combinations all day. It looks like it's SZF. Thank you. And I got a silver trophy, Master of Unlocking. I unlocked every safe in the game, I guess. Sweet. Thank you, Goldie Blusco, for telling me that in a cheer. I appreciate it. What is this? Sherry, I told you I cannot leave huh? here until my work is done. That's what you always say. Sherry? Why didn't you stay in the house? It was safe. Hold Our on, side. Sherry. I'll be right there. All right, so what's in this room? Now I got five ink ribbons. Sweet. I could definitely save. We got the map. The sewers map. Excellent. Can't use the VCR. We don't have a tape. And I guess that's it. There's no locker or anything in here to open. Nope. We gotta find three plugs. So what we got now? Two gunpowder, five high grade gunpowder, so I can make at least two things of SMG ammo. I've got over 300 rounds of SMG ammo. <clears throat> Some high-powered rounds for the other gun that I can't use yet. Wow, 12 flame rounds, 2 acid rounds. Couple green herbs, couple blue herbs. Debating taking a blue herb with me, I'm probably going to because you know there's probably going to be some of those fucking creepy crawler fucks down here. And the ink ribbons. Alright, let's save. Good shit. Good shit. And I got four spare ink ribbons. For the first time, I think playing hardcore, I actually feel safe because I can save whenever I need to. Good guy. All right. 